talking about Harley Davidsons, specifically the FXBB and the replacement of this it's a piece of junk stock exhaust with a two into one racing exhaust from none other than Two Brothers Racing. If you guys are familiar with this thing, it's an awesome bike. It's got that kind of low bobbed out styling from the factory, but it's got some shortcomings. The first thing was the seat. I already changed that. Got the new Saddleman step up on there. Another huge issue with this bike is the Honda Shadow sounding stock pipes. Yeah, if you could, I mean, if you could hear dog shit, this is what it would sound like. heard Honda Priuses that have more personality. It's a joke. Here's the box from Two Brothers Racing coming out of Santa Ana, California. Apparently these things are actually made in America. I think. I don't know, I didn't do that much research into the company as a whole, but looks awesome. So let's start unboxing this thing. Okay, and I took a glance at the instructions, but because I'm not a motorcycle mechanic and I want to make sure I get it right the first time, let's just take a quick glance at these uh, and see what it has to say about the whole thing. And if you're just tuning into this channel for the first time because I'm a bike, my name's Cam and I uh, have a t-shirt print shop in Phoenix, Arizona. And normally this channel is dedicated to t-shirts and shit like that, but I also just talk about whatever things I'm interested in at the moment. And right now that's getting this exhaust installed on my Harley. It says it's for the Fat Bob, but it's technically for the HD soft tail. I don't know, hopefully it's all the same. Make sure the motorcycle is completely cool before starting the installation. Remove the OEM heat shields. You're gonna remove the lower muffler to expose the muffler bracket bolts. I got the bolts out of this bracket. The only thing holding this muffler on are these flanges here and on the front of the head. Where is it? And using a half inch socket with an extension and a socket wrench, we're gonna loosen the upper muffler clamp and remove the muffler bracket bolts. I get this one first, but I am gonna have to remove that oil cooler the other side off. And this is why you should also remove the heat shield because the heat shield is blocking me from being able to use the socket to pull that out. That's how you screw shit up. You skip steps. In this case, it's not hurting anything, but removal of the heat shield just gives you a little bit more room to work. All right, now I'm gonna remove this to take this cover off. Okay. One piece at a time. Locate the O2 sensor plugs and disconnect them. There we go. Unscrew. Oops, careful though. And the other O2 sensor is right here. Uh, and it plugs in down here. It's free floating on that exhaust. Okay, there we go. This thing. Oh, it broke. That broke for sure. That fucking broke, dude. <laughs> now remove the OEM headers by unscrewing the header flange nuts. Eighteen pounds. Eighteen pounds for the stalker. New exhaust. Eight pounds. So not counting the hardware, it's a, about ten pounds lighter. All right, now it's uninstalled. It's time to actually install the two brothers exhaust. See how smooth this goes. First, you're going to remove the OEM clips, flanges, and O2 sensors from the stock headers and install them on the new Two Brothers headers as shown. 
we're gonna put these reducers in the exhaust. It's got these little copper gaskets. I don't know what the heck you actually call them. I'm gonna go ahead and do this in both of these now. I'm also going to go ahead and install these because it's easier to do it now than later. Uh, loosely install the two brothers front and rear headers on the motorcycle. I'm just using the socket to reach up in the flange there. Just make sure to take care not to cross thread nothing. And uh, we've got this O2 sensor here, which I'm going to bring up and round. Clip that in. Might as well do that right now as well, huh? There we go. Okay, the O2 sensor's in. Alrighty, I'm gonna pop these two bolts off here and then stick this bracket up there and put them back in. Hopefully nothing goes leaking out. <clears throat> but don't replace it with the, with the stock ones. You need to get these here. These are what you're supposed to use instead. I don't know if you need to torque this. I'm being. Uh, so now I'm going to install the supplied 5 16th clip nuts onto the new Two Brothers muffler. And I'm going to install the muffler onto the bike. Be sure the muffler bracket lines up with the installed clip nuts. I expected a little bit of a better fitment. I expected this header to push in to this part of the flange more, and as well as this one. It's, it's not, it's only in there about an inch, if that. So it's kind of sitting in there. The fitment is not super precise. You kind of have to whittle things around, do a little jiggling, a little wiggling to get it to fit. Now you're gonna loosely thread the included 5 16 by three quarter bolts onto the bracket to install the muffler. Now, this has a pretty ill fitment, dude. Like this is barely in there and so is this one. Install the supplied springs behind the muffler and headers. That is probably going to leak, but we'll see. Install the supplied heat shields at the time if desired. So you don't have to put them on, but if you like to keep your calf intact and you don't like third, second degree burns, install them. I'm gonna install them. They don't, they're not that obvious. And only an asshole would call you out for having them on. I, because if you mount this up normally, it touches the thing. It comes with these little spacers that you put right here which push it out far enough so that it won't touch. It also comes with a spacer for this linkage right here. Before you run the bike, clean off all fingerprints and dirt, as oily residue that is located on your dick beaters will etch the metal and become somewhat permanent when the system gets hot. Keep your dick beaters off the exhaust. Hopefully there's no leaks, but we're gonna start this up and see, you guys probably won't be able to tell much of a difference tonally, but I don't know, fuck it, here we go. All right, moment of truth. I like it. So I took originally though, before I did this, I had just taken the big mufflers off of the stock pipes and that shit was next level loud. This is somewhere in the middle. I was hoping, but still very loud. It's good. I'm, I'm actually really stoked on it. Uh, that is going to be the last thing I do to the bike for a for some time. 
Uh, just a bunch of little crap I want to do, relocate the license plate and the lights, and I want to lift the rear end a little bit, give myself a little more ground clearance for the lean. But for now, it'll work. Have any information on the Street Bob or the FXBB, let me know in the comments. Uh, and I'd love to hear what you think about the Two Brothers exhaust, both on that bike and just Two Brothers in general. What do you guys think of the tone? If you have any experience with them, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for hanging with me. And if this is your first time finding the channel, if you're into screen print or if you're into watching fools like myself fumble around trying to make it in the small business world, be sure to subscribe. Uh, be sure to like, share, or all that good shit. Leave a comment. Let me know that you were here. We'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Peace out.